So much. No, it's kind of fun to win you to this guy's mind on you, Dad. I did not never mute him. Yeah, cut my never mute him. Cut my never mute him. Coco, who isn't playable in this version, so I don't know why she's in the video, but okay. Do 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 Cut mine never muted Do do I don't know why I'm looking forward to this so much Yes! Crash mind of a mutant Start Start This controller doesn't work <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. Oh, fudge. Okay, hang on. I need to go find a new controller. Okay. <laughs> Sorted. We've got a working controller. Crash Mind of a Mutant. Here we go. Oh my God. It's so good to be playing this game. This is, like I said, um, the game I've played the least recently out of all the Crash games. But this was like one of the first Crash Bandicoot games that I like owned myself and played all the way through. I have a very weird history with Crash Bandicoot. My first Crash Bandicoot experience was a demo of the Crash 2 level Bear It. It was on a PS1 demo disc. Um, and then I played some Crash 1 at my friend's house. And then I played some CTR at my other friend's house. And then that was pretty much it until I got a PSP and then I got Crash Tag Team Racing. And then I got this game, Crash Mind of a Mutant. And then I kind of worked backwards. I got Crash of the Titans and I got Twin Sanity and then I, you know, got the originals again and, and stuff like that. So yeah, it's, it's a very weird backwards history, but it's, it's gonna be fun playing this. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm gonna try and go into it with like, not nostalgia goggles. I'm gonna like be critical where I need to be critical, but I'm also gonna be praising it a lot where I think it deserves to be praised. Uh, the music is absolutely one of the aspects I'm going to be praising the hell out of because this this game's soundtrack is honestly, I think I'd go so far as to say that it is the best in the franchise. Uh, no, I'm not taking that back. I'm not taking that back. I'm, I'm sticking with that. Widescreen. Oh! Oh, that's much better. Yeah. Oh, why doesn't, why didn't Ratchet and Clank have this option? That's so much better. <laughs> Oh my god, listen to the difference between mono and stereo, like, listen to... Like, you can barely... Like, the bass is not coming through on mono there. Alright, let's get started, <laughs> finally. No. <laughs> oh, you're kidding! Oh, you... It doesn't fit! <laughs> For God's sake! Why did I have to spell it with two S's? Alright, we'll just be... Danny. There we go. <laughs> Um, we'll go tricky, yeah. Oh yeah, we got this cutscene first. Oh yeah, Embryo's in this game. <laughs> and I'm very happy to be back. <laughs> why, why was that rabbit just hopping around for so long? Oh, the music! Oh my god. This is so nostalgic. This is 2008 and this is nostalgic for me. Although that's, that's 15 years ago. Nothing. Total Mojo 1. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering to look around. I'm not going to have anything yet. Kids Art Pack. Cool. Who cares? <laughs> well, probably the kids who did the art care. Although they'll be like 20 years old now, so <laughs> I'm not sure. Crash. Crash Greeny. He's laughing Greeny. Crash Bluey. I mean, that basically is Crash already. <laughs> Crash Ready. I quite like that. Should we go with Crash Greeny? 
just to be unique and different. This will be the only Let's Play on YouTube where someone's playing as Crash Greeny the entire time. Oh my god, the music! <sighs> How do you spin? Oh, that is how you spin, yeah. That's really awkward to do. That one didn't have anything in. <laughs> mojo is the essence of life itself, so if a plant has no mojo, then it has no life. Just like me. <laughs> Why can't we go in Coco's house? Is that even Coco's house? I've just been assuming it's Coco's house the whole time, but no nothing actually ever says it is Coco's house. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a crash eye in a mouth. Like, oh, what you think? You think you're better than me, Crunch? Huh? You were literally made to be, but. Marmalade. Mmm, yummy. Who can say if it worked? Oh my God! Yeah, the puppets. I forgot about this. <laughs> It'll play games, watch movies, and dispense butter! <laughs> what is Coco's obsession with butter? She was making a thing about butter in the last game, too. Butter? Oh, and also in Crash 2, remember? She's like, Cr Big Brother, go get me extra buttery fried... Oh my god, this is a dumb joke. <laughs> Here's a list. First up is the Capacitron by my house. Oh, it is her house, okay. <laughs> oh, I want a Crash puppet like that, actually. <laughs> Yeah, her first mission is to do something for Coco because she can't do it herself. That's really fucked up! So yeah, if you if you went into this game not knowing about the cutscenes, then that puppet bit is gonna like it's gonna hit you like a freight train because you can be like I mean they did the shadow puppet one at the start, but then they also did that in Titan, so you probably don't bat an eye, but then that puppet thing happens and then you're like, what the hell is this game doing? <laughs> To this day, I still don't know. Spinning is a great attack, and also a way to quickly collect mojo. And also really hard to do. How do you get up? Oh, I gotta do spin jump, don't I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, it's coming back to me, it's coming back to me. Do a spin jump and get some real height. Yeah. Rotate the left analog stick and press the X button. Thank you for telling me that now. <laughs> oh, you know, actually, no, I take that back. I actually like that they did that because you can easily just go back to the other bit and get the stuff if you didn't figure that out already, but it lets you figure it out on your own before it actually just flat out tells you. So that's that's good. That's, that's I, I take back my criticism. The jumping does feel a little bit weird. It feels, it's just, I don't know. It, it's hard to describe, but it, like, it doesn't feel natural the way you jump. It's probably worse than it was in Titans, and this game has more platforming than Titans did. <laughs> For some reason, I feel a compulsion to uh, break every single dandelion. It is my destiny. I'm the dandelion destroyer. Wee! Oh, it feels so good to be playing this. This is so cool. Oh, see, now we got TNTs. See, we got we got all the classic crash stuff. We got crates. We got one fruit. We got spinning. We got um. That's about it, really. <laughs> you need to spin on top of this to make it work. Luckily, I hear that spinning is something you do pretty well by now. Oh, yeah. They call me the... Whoa, 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 whoa. They call me the spin doctor. I know that, you silly furry, with the surprise and the violence and the bogging. With a stick! Fabulous, I love the poking, a big fan from back before it was popular. Now everybody's into poker, hey! This is Tom Kenny talking to himself. Actually, I don't know if they were both Tom Kenny. One of them definitely was. <laughs> oh, you seen any bandicoots around here? <laughs> Why have they seen me yet? 
10 times multiplier score. Oh yeah, the combos don't go away in this game, I forgot about that. You can just keep stacking them. They go away if you get hit or die or something. Bandicoots are grave diggers, and you are no exception. Bandicoots are grave diggers. What? <laughs> I didn't do anything. What the hell is going on over here? <laughs> it's just blowing themselves up. <laughs> Did you really think I was going to leave that dandelion? I am the dandelion destroyer. Can you dig it? You learned how to dig. More like I remembered how to dig. Right, four out of six. We're nearly there. Nearly there. We're nearly done with the tutorial level. <laughs> Here they come! Get ready! Oh lordy, they come in. Whoa. Wee! <laughs> I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy. I will say this. This game comes pretty close to replicating that, like, Crash 1 feeling of, like, being on a long adventure. You know, that that's the, that's the kind of thing that the series kind of strayed away from after Crash 1, but... This game makes the world feel huge. That's also a, a bit of a downside because it means it takes ages to get anywhere. <laughs> you just hit that other guy. <laughs> oh. Whoa, that did like a full rotation. Did, whoa, oh, lag. Even the game couldn't handle that level of mojo. Yeah, gold mojo is 100, right? So, yeah, 3,800 mojo in one go. That's, that's insane. To use this crash, you'll need a little help from a friend. Oh, do I? Oh. On the other end would make it much easier. It would make it easier, yes, but uh, <laughs> I don't have any friends. You don't have any friends? Well done. We've got all the parts. Hooray, we completed the tutorial. Froggy. <laughs> and Julian Fries. Oh, Waxy. Uh, uh, and it's certainly not an evil plan. <laughs> this game is no funny. Credits. Classical cheeses. Stare into the dancing lights. Stare and dream. Stare and dream. I just don't quite these verbatim. I know these cutscenes so well. Yeah, games, messaging, dancing lights. Yeah, the dancing lights is my favorite part. Next time on Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> is that just John DiMaggio just doing random gargly noises and stuff? I can just see him in the recording booth just being like... <laughs> <laughs>